Today I wanted to share my 6am glute and hamstring workout routine whilst I am gaining muscle and losing fat. So I wake up, make my bed whilst I'm half asleep and then I was actually tidying up from the night before. I have got to get this done before I've done anything and feel like I can actually start my day and then a good glute day always starts with a good gym outfit, am I right? get myself ready, brush my teeth and wash my face, pop on some SPF. I use this tinted moisturiser that's really nice if you've got really breakout prone skin like me and pop on some deodorant, a bit of perfume and that is me ready. Here's my gym outfit of the day. I just went with some black leggings and then I went out and did a beach meditation. I don't always do this but I had some extra time today so I flung out my towel and I didn't realise my some knickers actually flew out there love that from me pop in my headphones and i'm using a guided meditation from the live and lift app so i pick a guided 10 minute meditation for whatever i'm feeling like that day i've included a variety of different types of meditation so there's body scans loving kindness meditation breath awareness and just connecting with your mind and connecting with your thoughts this has helped me so much when it comes to having sort of stressful and worrying thoughts cross my mind a lot and it's not necessarily getting rid of those but just identifying them as thoughts and then coming back to the present moment and I just feel like I have a lot more time in my day and I can manage stress a lot better from doing a guided meditation daily. So there's this Starbucks near my gym that I've driven past. Oh that is the largest bump. Oh Wait, I feel so rushed. I don't know what I want to get. I haven't had a start with some ages. Good morning, Salah. How's Morning. Could I just ask, what cold brews do you do, please? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Speak up, yeah? I'll just go for um, an ice flat white with sugar-free vanilla, please. That's everything, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, I can see you on there. Come here. Oh, I'm sweating. <laughs> I can't cope. I don't know what, why I just ordered that, but um, I fancy something different. I don't really fancy an Americano. I thought I'd have time to think about my order, but they're so efficient here. I normally make my coffee at home, but I just thought today. Oh, it's very hot. It's very hot. Morning. Oh, please may I have a straw? Thank you, have a nice day went for an iced latte with sugar-free vanilla syrup and I think it'll be just like a low-fat normal milk. I'm trying not to have as much like oat milk to be honest. A lot of the oat milks that I've been buying they have so much stuff when you look on the ingredients list it seems like anything but oat milk is in the actual like carton. Oh my god that is so nice. How is that so good? The sugar-free vanilla doesn't taste like that artificial sweetener. I've just been listening to the High Performance Podcast with Mo Gorda and it was the infinite power of gratitude. I've got about 40 minutes left. Whenever I'm driving anywhere, I always like to have like a podcast in the background. But yeah, it is leg day today, so I'm going to get to the gym. See you guys in there. So let's get into the actual workout. I've been following the six weekly and strong program. So that includes two glute focused lower body days, two upper and one hit with a goal of losing body fat whilst sculpting my physique. I'll leave the links down below. So as always, starting with a good old warm up and some activation. This is one of the most important parts of a leg day. Our hips can end up so rotated in response to a lot of sitting down, wearing comfy shoes and being in weird kind of positions. So our hip flexors can get really tight and weak. And obviously our compound lifts like squats and dead deadlifts need a large amount of our hip flexor strength in order to get your hips into flexion. So definitely don't be sleeping on your warm ups. I find this a really good time to just check in with my actual body and see what parts are feeling stiff. If I'm ever super, super sore or tight from like a workout days prior, then I will train a different body part. I think that's something really important to mention. You don't need to be overtraining anywhere for no reason. Here is the workout split. So I just go over the overview, see what I've got coming up and make sure I've got all my equipment out and quick quick and click start on my apple watch and get straight into it
So we're starting with barbell hip thrusts. Why are these such a workout in it themselves, like setting them up? Making sure I've got a really thick, spongy hip thrust pad uh, and getting into it. Just making sure my phone's out of the way. I always feel like I'm gonna slam the weight or something on my phone. And then I spent a good five minutes just getting my positioning right, making sure my back's nice and comfortable on the bench. I always start with a warm up set with any movement just so that I can concentrate on what muscle I'm trying to target and then loading up the weights. Again, is this not the most painful part of doing hip thrust? If there's ever a gym with like a hip thrust machine, then go ahead and use that saves so much time. I think hopefully at some point every gym will have an actual hip thrust set up in place. A tip here is to really concentrate on mind to muscle connection. So the more you focus on the target muscle whilst you're performing an exercise, the greater your strength and muscle memory gains will increase. So ways to increase your mind to muscle connection, say if you don't always feel your glutes firing up, is to watch yourself train in a mirror. That is one actionable tip you could take or use tempo reps and flex your muscles between sets and really visualize that muscle contracting and you can even try close your eyes i always feel a little bit strange when i do that but it just helps so so much and really concentrating on that here i am struggling and thinking is this genuinely worth it definitely is Okay, here's a little long nails hack, acrylics hack. So turn your toes outwards as you're going to pick up a plate if it's flush on the floor, and then you can just pick it up like this. Give this a try if you're ever struggling with getting the weights off the floor. Then the next tip is to use wrist straps. For so long, I wasn't training with these and they provide so much support and stabilization, stabilization, stabilization of the wrist. They're so helpful during your heavy lifts, like with grip strength. And obviously our legs can be a lot stronger than our wrists. So I would definitely recommend trying these. Next movement is going into a barbell. RDL, this is without a doubt one of my favorite movements. This can be quite a tricky one to get the technique. So this is a hinging movement. So your hips are going forward and backwards rather than up and down. This combined with a barbell hip thrust is just one of my favorite movements ever. Has me contemplating my whole entire existence when I'm going through it. I thought I'd give you a different angle as well. So I have my hands like just on the outsides of my knees, trying to keep the bar as close as possible to my legs. Next up, we're going into a uni lateral movement. Oh God, even watching these back, I swear I can actually feel pain. So we're doing Bulgarian split squats. So if you're not already incorporating unilateral movement, definitely be doing so because we all have one side that's weaker than the other. So this is super handy if you're compensating with your dominant side a lot more if you, or if you just feel like you've always got one side that feels a lot stronger. So here you can isolate and correct muscle imbalances. And then I'm supersetting this. This is a burner. If you want your glutes on absolute fire, then definitely try this. Here I am struggling. I thought I'd include these bits because this is the reality of a lower body day. I always think to myself, is this actually worth it? The next tip is to modify exercises at slash machines properly. So we're all different heights, shapes and sizes. And I made this mistake for such a long time. I feel like I didn't get half as much out of my workouts because I wasn't adjusting the machines to suit my size and body shape and I just didn't really think so making sure your legs are locked in this movement so you can actually target the right muscle groups you'll feel it a lot more and you're a lot less prone to injuring yourself in the process and you can actually control the path of motion with matching the amount of force to strengthen the muscles. The last tip is to stick to a program if you're constantly switching things up it's going to be hard to expect or see much change in strength muscle mass losing body fat whatever your fitness goal is it's really important to stick to a program for at least six to 12 weeks to see change. Then I finished off with some cable kickbacks. You can actually fasten the uh, cable machine to your laces if you ever forget this, like I do. And that is us finished. And then I just do some steps. So this is where I do most of my life admin and I find it's a good way to just bump up my steps and that way I'm not having to go on a massive walk later on in the day. I also take any meetings if the gym music isn't too noisy. It's just a good little hack 
to implement. And then after the gym, I walked to the supermarket. I got some of this really nice protein bread that's like this super seeded, lovely thing. And these wraps, which I've been obsessed with. And I also topped up my nut butter. So here, this is a Careful in Dubai and you can make your own tahini, peanut butter, almond butter. They've got a chocolate hazelnut one. I just wanted to show you this because I use it every time. It's literally just two ingredients. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know what you would like to see next. Pop it down in the comments down below. I will leave all links to check out my app. You can get a free seven day trial on the Live and Lift app, which has got my workout programs on and I will see you in the next video.